What up, Melvin7 here. EA have released the top 20 fastest players on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. So let's kick this off with Fabian Castello. He's always been quick on FIFA, 93 pace, 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot. We're seeing a lot of cards that we haven't actually seen, which is always nice. Then we've got Leicester City new boy, Ahmed Musa. Definitely deserves that. We've seen from brief appearances in the Premier League, he is rapid. Then we've got Kingsley Coleman, an 81 rated left wing with 93 pace he's also got 84 dribbling and four star skill moves he looks like a really really good card then we've got Bruma, 93 pace four star skill moves four star weak foot a lot of these players have four star skill moves to go along with their pace making them good this player however Jordi Alba doesn't because he's a left back but he still has three star skill moves 93 pace again a lot of similar pace stats of course because it's a top 20 list then we've got Raheem Sterling who's made a cracking start to the Premier League this season 93 pace keeping his 82 rating four star skill moves looks like a very very good card on ultimate team then we've got Lucas 93 pace I think that's what he had last year as well four star skill moves and uh, a very very good looking card again then we move on to our first silver and it's going to be Aguaya, 94 pace. He's going to be desirable purely because of that pace, of course. He doesn't have uh, full star skill moves though, so perhaps not one of the better silver cards that you'll see. Then we've got, I think it's Mane, is that how you say it? Not uh, Sadio Mane, but uh, the White Caps, is that? Uh, I think that's the team he plays for. But anyway, 94 pace, full star skill moves and uh, a good MLS option. Then we've got Udemedi. I think I've said that right, probably not, but yeah, 66 rated left wing with 94 pace, 4 star skill moves again, and uh, yeah, looks like a decent silver card. Then we've got Mayachi, a uh, former Arsenal player, I think, 94 pace, he's uh, had 94 pace for a few years, I think, 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot again. Then we move on to Quaro. I can't pronounce names, as I'm sure you're well aware. 74 rated, silver card, 4 star skill moves. He'll be used purely because of the pace and skills like a lot of these players. And then we've got another right mid, 94 pace again. Another Argentinian, so uh, you could have a 94 pace, silver left mid, as well as a right mid. Uh, Argentinian player in your team then we move on to back to gold with Gareth Bale 94 pace we've seen this card numerous times it looks incredible for a 90 rated right wing then we go back to silvers Asante 95 pace so we're up in the pace slightly with this one and uh, obviously a very rapid card there then we've got Jurgen Dam. A Mexican right mid there's a lot of wingers as you would expect is as that's where a lot of the pace in football comes from 95 pace again then we move over back to the Premier League with Hector Bellerin 95 pace getting a huge upgrade on his pace and he definitely deserves that he is he's lightning quick in real life then we've got Bia Biani a well-known pace demon on FIFA and uh, he's kept that I think he had 96 pace actually so he's dropped down slightly but still 95 pace is unbelievably quick then we've got Bowley who's had 96 pace before uh, Ivory Coast I believe right mid and then number one we've got Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang the fastest player on FIFA 60, 16 17 96 pace and He's going to be expensive, but he's going to be worth every coin you invest, in my opinion. He's tall, 96 pace. I mean, we don't know if pace is a massive factor on FIFA 17, but surely it plays some part into it. So he just looks like an absolute beast. So hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.